Hi, I'm Mike Finley, co-founder and chief scientist for Answer Rocket. We started Answer Rocket in 2013 with the goal of helping customers get access to data using natural language. What we realized as we started working with Global 2000 companies is that you have sophisticated questions that can only be answered with models and insight algorithms on top of that data. Trying to get answers, you find that dashboards are not good enough. There's a lot of manual data work, it's slow and it's expensive. The actual analysis is almost an afterthought because of the time crunch. We've spent the last three years building a platform that understands the intent of a user's question directly from natural language. That means we can load the right data and match it to a machine learning model very quickly. When Answer Rocket does all the heavy lifting, people are doing the part they like a lot sooner. And that means that businesses have better and faster reactions. For example, there might be a question like, what were sales by month last year? Clearly, we need to retrieve a simple time series and maybe model it using some sort of a forecast. On the other hand, there's a sophisticated question like, what's next month's demand forecast? Now, a demand forecast is going to have a lot more factors that influence and change it. And it's also going to be able to produce a lot more proactive insights and different kinds of charts and ultimately tell an interactive data story. The Game-changing component behind all of this are rocket bots. These are analytical apps inside Answer Rocket. They automatically run your analysis and automate your workflows. So building interactive data stories like brand performance or assortment management or therapeutic efficacy is a snap. The whole system is built on an open and extensible platform. We can integrate with your existing data, with uh, AI and ML platforms that you have, with the libraries that are already in place. So at the end of the day, with Answer Rocket, you get analysis in minutes versus weeks, democratized data science across your org, and proactive and insightful data stories. This is my Answer Rocket news feed. The news algorithm selected these events based on my interests. I've been analyzing COVID data, and that's reflected in the headlines. Answer Rocket composes natural language stories for me to read, like this one. Over the last month, New deaths are down 4.8% worldwide. Answer Rocket modeled the COVID data to show me the driving factors and explain the trends. Under View More, there's analysis on the impact of vaccinations and callouts for success stories and opportunities to improve. Over here, I see an alert about a new in depth analysis that Answer Rocket created for the Surgeon General. Answer Rocket packages up analysis as an interactive data story that presents as a deck of slides. Unlike a static dashboard, this data story is dynamic, including only the relevant slides for current events. It starts with a global summary of COVID outcomes and vaccines from our KPI summary skill. Skill is what we call analytical apps in Answer Rocket. This global view is packaged up with other skills that tell a story about my data. The whole thing is interactive. When I click a measure, the viz tracks what I'm interested in. I can switch to a table view and see that Israel and the Seychelles are leading in vaccinations per 100,000 people. Under Insights, there's more content that Answer Rocket composed using natural language generation. This one about the US has my attention because new cases are rising slightly despite all the vaccination efforts. Clicking on this filters my view, measures and insights down to just the US. The next story is about U.S. vaccinations, rising almost 2 million per day. The general trend is that deaths are declining as vaccinations increase. After 56 straight days of vaccine growth, the total is up to 169 million. These insights also explain the trend of COVID fatalities. New deaths have been driven down, but that curve is starting to level off. We can animate the trend over time by country. Many countries show new case counts trending down as vaccines grow, but we see the U.S. and the U.K. breaking away from the rest. We can also ask questions on the fly. I'm curious about U.S. economic recovery with the unemployment rate falling lately. I'll ask, when will weekly vaccines drive the unemployment rate below 4.5%? Answer Rocket understands the intent of my question and finds a skill to answer it. In this case, the impact skill will use machine learning to predict the outcome. We see that the unemployment rate is projected to fall below 4.5% by June 5th. Let's look at how to build one of these decks. It's easy to add a slide with natural language. I get a lot of help from Answer Rocket. Under the Concepts tab, I see measures and attributes that I can use. 
As I type, I get shortcuts to recent answers and popular choices. There's steady feedback as I ask my questions, so I know Answer Rocket understands what I'm after. What were the new vaccinations given month over month by country? Answer Rocket saw that I wanted to compare vaccinations across countries between two time periods. It answered with a month over month variance bridge. There's a headline quantifying what I want to see. The majority of new vaccinations month over month were driven by India, China, and the US. I also have quick insights that surface facts and add context to the answer. Every question has a data certificate. The data certificate takes me behind the scenes to examine how I got the answer. I can see that a database query such as SQL, DAX, or Python Pandas was generated automatically for me. Data powers the insights that add context to my answer. For example, there's a Pareto insight that tells me that close to 90% of the gains came from just 15 countries. The more data we put into a question, the richer the insights become. For a more complex question, for the top five countries, by total deaths, trend the vaccination rate by country and week, year to date. Since January, the UK grew the most and India grew the least. I can also perform a follow-up analysis on this chart. For example, a trend might be interesting. Here I see a trend analysis with a forecast. In the US, the vaccination expansion is within the expected range. At this pace, we'll hit 62,000 vaccines per 100,000 people next week. A simple linear model worked here, but Answer Rocket evaluated six different forecasting models and identified the one that best explained the data. We can even run analysis from a live feed. I've got a direct connection to a CDC API. I want to find out what conditions are leading to the most COVID deaths in Michigan. I can adjust this chart and add a second question so that I can see the age groups. Which age groups had highest morbidity in Michigan? I can adjust everything visually to get the view I want. Surprisingly, people as young as 50 are at significantly greater risk as are patients with complicating influenza or pneumonia. This will help the Surgeon General target outreach to the most at-risk population segments. I know some populations are hesitant to even get vaccinated. I've got some survey data and I can use the key influencers skill to take a look at vaccination sentiment. This chart shows me the overall size of the population and their hesitancy to get vaccinated. The groups plotted in green disproportionately indicated that they did not plan to get the vaccine. The ones that stand out are women and the lowest income bracket. These are large groups that are hesitant and likely need some motivation. Targeting some outreach toward them would probably help move the vaccination rate forward. Answer Rocket performed driver analysis on survey data using Bayesian inference. It's easy to add new data to Answer Rocket. I can hit the Add Data button and then select the file I want to upload. I found data that contains state level vaccine allocations by manufacturer. Answer Rocket did the heavy lifting of loading and merging the data for me. All the decisions that were made are right here so I can confirm them. And I can change anything that I don't like. Since everything looks good, I'm going to add a few synonyms to make this data more friendly. These will be in effect when I'm typing or asking questions by voice on mobile. And since I can share this data set, these synonyms will help everybody. I can adjust data labels and tell Answer Rocket how to format these values when people read them. Critically, Answer Rocket joined this data to my COVID data lake so it can be used with all my other data. I'm going to look at what it did specifically with dates. I can inspect the join to see matched and unmatched values. Answer Rocket was able to connect the new data to week, month, and year. This automatic join looks good. Let's put this data to work. Answer Rocket enables users to immediately engage with new data sets using natural language. Let's try a question. First dose allocations by manufacturer and state. 
Since this question is skewed by population, I can also ask a harder question, like, what were total vaccinations given divided by first dose allocations plus second dose allocations year to date by state? Now I can see that New York is actually distributing the highest percentage of vaccines. I like this calculation, so I can save it to make it easily accessible in natural language. I'll call it vaccine distribution efficiency, but I'll give it a synonym of vaccine distribution rate in case somebody calls it that. Since this is a ratio, I'll mark it as an average. I want to use this new calculation to compare large versus small states. I'll ask Answer Rocket for a list of states with over 10 million people. And I'm going to save this as large states in a list. Then I'll make a list out of the ones with a small population under 10 million and save that as small states. Pulling it all together, I'll get Answer Rocket to compare my new measure broken out by the list of states I just made. How's the vaccine distribution rate for large states compared to small states? Large states are slightly more effective overall. Now that we've created a rocket bot to automate our weekly COVID-19 status update, let's take a look at the ways the analysis and insights can be shared. I know my colleagues would benefit from the work I've done. I could share this specific deck or even just an individual slide, but since I want them to receive regular updates, I'll schedule the rocket bot to run automatically. I can fire it off on a set schedule or tell it to run anytime there's new data. When the rocket bot runs, it produces a new updated version of our weekly COVID-19 status update deck. I'll send it out every Monday at 6 a.m. so everyone has a solid footing to start the week. Since this is for the Surgeon General, I'll have it focus on the United States. I can email the analysis and attach a PDF or PowerPoint or a CSV file. I'll set this up to go to the Surgeon General and to my team members. Now let's take a look at the report that the Surgeon General receives in his inbox. The report is attached as a PDF. You can see that Answer Rocket has preserved the slide format and has intelligently presented the most important findings to share from our interactive deck. In addition to automating my analysis, Answer Rocket goes a step further. It curates the most newsworthy stories from all the analysis everyone else did, so there's a daily digest email. This roundup of news keeps you proactively informed about the biggest changes and trends happening each day. For instance, New Mexico is leading in terms of vaccination rates in the U.S., and they're seeing half the deaths they had a month ago. If I'm reading this on mobile, I can click here to get to the news feed on my phone. Here's the mobile view of the COVID news feed. It becomes especially powerful when you have a few rocket bots running in the background around the clock. You stay in the know without digging through data. Here's an interesting story about the trend in Alabama. In contrast to New Mexico, Alabama continues to lag in vaccinations, but fortunately they are seeing fewer and fewer deaths. I can view more details on the story, add a comment, and even ask a follow-up question using text or voice. What are vaccines in Alabama by week in 2021? This is our skills library. Answer Rocket comes loaded with skills ranging from statistics to machine learning. Our Surgeon General Analysis used a few of these skills like the KPI summary and the impact assessment. You can bring your own models into Answer Rocket as new skills. We start you off with the toolkit and some templates like the ones you see here. Let's take a look at one of our skills. For example, we have one that examines the success of containment measures. This is our cluster comparison skill. For the COVID data lake, it can group countries based on their success at containing the disease, and then explain which containment measures worked and which didn't. It implements a machine learning pipeline, but as a business user, you don't need to know anything about that. You simply ask a question and get a comprehensive, sophisticated answer. 
The technical concepts and tools we use are open and familiar to your data scientists and analysts. Skills like this cluster comparison are a powerful example of what's possible in this framework. Let's try it out. I've got this one on a shortcut, so all I have to do is click. Just like that, I got my answer. There are color-coded countries that were automatically grouped according to their COVID testing rate and their COVID case rate. The red cluster, number 5, was testing at about the same rate as the blue cluster, but the red countries had much lower total cases. I'll choose cluster 5 as my subject from this drop-down. The chart on the right updated to contrast how these two groups used containment measures. Looks like the successful countries relied on mass population testing and domestic travel restrictions, whereas the others used a lot of awareness campaigns. Another major differentiator is how we automate analysis. You can combine skills into specialized applications to automate an analytics workflow, the kind a highly skilled analyst might perform. We call these rocket bots. As we saw with the COVID update deck, customers can also create their own rocket bots modeled after a deck of analysis. We're working on an enhanced workflow building experience for designing rocket bots. Essentially, it allows you to lay out a research plan that Answer Rocket can execute automatically. Here, I'm building a workflow based on the sequence of analysis that we saw earlier in our COVID-19 status update. I can add a step to this to have Answer Rocket run a loop of analysis against the five states with the most cases of COVID. For each of these, I want to add a trend analysis and a correlation analysis. Answer Rocket is a unique combination of open access to data, natural language, and democratized data science. Imagine being able to automate the bulk of your routine analysis and enabling more business users to leverage advanced analysis for better decision making. That's a vision that can be realized with Answer Rocket today. Thank you.